Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is going to be kind of a, a niche, a niche video, but uh, when when certain things come up where I can't find the information on the internet and I have to go through it, I uh, like to make a, a video because it it helps people from time to time. So if uh, you don't have a Can Am Outlander, then this probably doesn't uh, apply to you. I replaced my uh, stock hitch. This is the stock hitch that was what, that was here just a, a little while ago, and it's made to uh, put a ball in. But the ball is, uh, for one thing, too low. And then when you release the coupler on the trailer, it hits the bottom of this. So it's uh, it's really of no good if you plan to actually uh, tow a trailer. But if you'll notice, uh, let me see here. In this uh, trailer hitch, there or this stock hitch, there is a square bolt hole right here. There's a square bolt hole on the other side, and that is what this bracket right here bolts to on the hitch to support the back end of the skid plate. These are the uh, Can Am factory skid plates, and the back part is held on by the hitch. The front part is held on by a lip that goes into the the belly skid plate and this little clamp. The clamp allows the skid plate to slide back and forth and it's you know so you can easily uh, change the fluids and stuff like that if you need to take this skid plate off to do that. The differential fluid and and uh, get in there if you have to so it's made to uh, slide back. So if you undo these you know this bracket the plate will just slide back. But on the receiver hitch, the factory Can-Am receiver hitch, there's no allotment for that uh, bracket right there. The bracket used to bolt about here in the middle. That's about where it used to bolt. Now all I did for the receiver hitch, if you need to get one of these yourself, is that I unbolted it there lined it up with the edge right here, drilled two new holes, and uh, bolted it back up with those two new holes with, you know, new bolts. I'll let you see them here. So, I uh, bolted them here, and then I ran a long bolt all the way through this opening right here in the hitch. There's an opening right here for the hitch uh, that's on the hitch, and I guess this is where you can hook a, a toe strap or whatever. Um, or to tie it down on a trailer. But there's this opening for that. But I ran a bolt all the way across here. I lined up the bolt holes and then I put a nut on the back of it here. And this is white because that's the only color primer I had. I didn't want it to rust so I sprayed that. I'm not really worried about it. But I put a, a nylock nut on this side so it can't go, go loose. So basically this bracket is now run through this hole. It wasn't meant to do that. That's just what I had to quickly come up with uh, to hold the skid plate in place. So that's something that you have to keep in mind if you want to switch to a receiver hitch on an Outlander um, and you have the factory uh, skid plates. If you don't, then don't worry about it. Also, another question that I had when I was uh, wanting to switch to this uh, receiver hitch was does a regular uh, draw bar fit in here? And the answer to that question is no. Hold on, let me grab a gra uh, draw bar and I'll show you. Okay, I'm back. This is just a draw bar that I have uh, laying around. It's, it's a regular truck draw bar. Pull the pin on it real quick. This hasn't been used in a long time. But you take a regular truck draw bar and you put it into this receiver and it hits the differential. See? You can't slide it back far enough for the hole to line up. See? The hole doesn't is like right here. So you can't use a regular draw bar. You have to use either 
Well, what Can-Am would like you to do is buy their $80 uh, drawbar, which is basically just a drawbar that's really short, and the hole is drilled like an inch from the back of, of here. So it's like here. So what can you do to use your regular drawbar out of your truck? And that's kind of what I had in mind. I wanted to be able to pull my drawbar out of my van, put it in here to move my trailer around. So what can you do? Well, you can cut the uh, end off, you know, like a full couple inches off the end. Uh, you can cut the drawbar. You can drill another hole uh, there. But no matter what you do, this is pretty thick, you know, steel. So we're not talking about, you know, punching a hole in something thin. You know, this is this is gonna this is gonna be like a little bit heavier duty situation to drill through that or cut that. Or you can buy an ATV drawbar, which is what I've done, and it's not here yet. Should be here any minute from Amazon, and that bolt hole should line up. But uh, uh, we'll check that out when it gets here. But those are your options, and that's just a little piece of. Uh, information that that's very difficult to find on the internet and if uh, one or two people find that useful then uh, the video is worth making just wanted to help somebody else out that uh, needed to do this there's got to be more than just me out there so okay guys I wanted to bring you back because I uh, I got the ATV hitch uh, in uh, last minute so I wanted to kind of show you the difference on the bottom here is a uh, normal hitch off a truck, a normal uh, drawbar off of a, you know, any vehicle, truck, you know, whatever. And you can see that the position of the hole is drastically different. And that's why it wouldn't fit into my uh, receiver hitch on the ATV. Uh, they did this on purpose so they had, you know, so you'd have to buy a, you know, an $80 you know, an $80 drawbar on top of your $80 hitch. So that's how they kind of nickel and dime you it, uh, it can't am. <laughs> I mean, that's no other explanation for that that I can think of. It's uh, been a less than uh, a good experience as far as the aftermarket parts go for, for can am. The whole experience has not been good. So let me put this in the ATV and I'll show you how it works in the ATV real quick. All right, so slides in there and you can see where the hole is going to line up. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty shallow. So it goes in just a little bit. Pin goes through and then I put my pin on this side here, my clip on this side, and then there you have it. So let's go see how this actually looks and works on the trailer. I'll take the uh, quad over to the trailer and we'll uh, hook it up and see what it looks like. As you can see everybody, the, uh, the hitch is uh, just maybe an inch higher than my van. It's, it's pretty close to the exact same height, so let me, uh, let me raise it up enough to get over the ball. It's easier to move the, the quad than it is the trailer. And uh, throw it down. See what happens here. See if it just squashes my quad or not. Okay, putting the weight on it. Okay, so all the weight's off of it. That's about how it's going to sit. We lock the coupler. Okay, coupler is locked. Let me test it. Okay, it's going to stay on there. And let's uh, let's test it. Make sure it works good. I'll pull it uh, down the street and back. See how it pulls. See how it works. Yep.
Alright guys, uh, just pulled it uh, down the street and back, uh, pulled it into the driveway forward. This makes it a whole lot more difficult to steal actually. Um, so I figure it's a whole lot easier to back this thing down my driveway than it is to uh, back it up the driveway. So I'm just going to leave it this way. And then when I go riding again, I'll just pull the trailer around, hook it up to the van. Uh, this makes it a lot easier to get the trailer up this narrow driveway, up that steep, narrow driveway on a main road. I just, when I do it with my van, I block off that whole street. It's not good. And uh, so it pulled fine. Could barely tell it was behind the quad. It uh, works uh, perfectly okay, and I'm just now uh, disconnecting it. I'm going to raise the uh, uh, tongue as soon as I... Uh, this is just uh, raising it up off of the hitch and it'll be off of it let's see here probably right there it's probably good and uh, as soon as I get this quad moved out of the way I'll hook up all the anti-theft devices again but it's a success but uh, not easily the information not easily found so I will post uh, links in the description to all the things that I bought to make this work and if you need it hopefully this video helps you out we'll catch you on the next one on that end